Now, before we talk about the accessories, how it works, which works great by the way, and what comes in a package and so on and so forth, the first test that I did was in terms of distance, because I do believe that the distance is the more important test. If it does work, then it's a great product. If it doesn't work, then all the other features, more or less, are just useless. The first test that I did was to put this screen with a aquarium so that I could see if the image was fluid or not and then I pick up the monitor and I took it away because it has a battery built in and I can do that actually for 12 hours but I didn't take that long. First of all I did on my gymnasium area and the total is about 80 square meters with walls and so on and so forth and it works great. Then I went to the backyard and the result was the same no issues whatsoever by the way the specifications state that we can use it 300 meters without obstacles and right over here we are talking about roughly 88 160 200 square meters with some obstacles so if you are in a similar scenario you'll be more than fine then i went to the first floor to test it out and no issues whatsoever walking backward and forward no issues then when i go to the second floor that was the first barrier on the second floor stairs um, which is usual on this kind of device i did lost signal for the first time which means that the stairs has a lot of iron a lot of stone so it's really hard to pass through nonetheless when i went to the top of the second floor what happens is that we do get the signal back once again especially in the area that we are straight ahead here with the office so if in your case you are two floors above and you are on the same direction it will be more than fine if you go towards another direction then we will lose the signal a little bit and the image will not be as fluid there will be a few parts of the image that will slow down so in that case the experience will not be 100% but nonetheless i was impressed with the range that it was able because there are a lot of iron and stone right over here on this floor so a strong signal which is um, given by this antenna right over here and also this antenna this antenna right over here is a temperature sensor which is great we can see and know the temperature that we have on the room where the camera is and it will give us that information on the menu bar right over here audio on both ways and the audio from the camera which is monitoring the baby it's always active to the screen the option that i have is to up and down the volume and i can mute which is what's happening right now uh, at the same time you can see a, a visual alarm right over there which means that it was detected by sounds and probably at the beginning of the video when I start talking we will have even if the screen is off it detects the voice and it will wake up the screen so I can see what's happening in real time if I want to talk from the monitor side to the camera then I've got a button right over here which is a microphone I can press and I can talk and the baby will listen to me and probably it will disregard and keep on crying but nonetheless I did try that. There's also an option for music, so I can select the music and put it to play right over here through the speaker that we can see here on the camera. It supports up to 128 gigs of storage micro SD card, so it will record, if we want to, of course, 24 7 and the way that it plays back, it's really easy. We will have the video split in chapters so we can just press fast forward and it will go forward and forward until we find the image that we want talking about image the image quality is great here on the screen this screen has five inches it looks awesome right over here as you can see nonetheless what i'm going to do is to get one of those clips i'm going to put here on screen so that you can check it out I'm recording this video in 4k and i will have to scale it up and image quality during the day and also during the night it's great you can see everything with the infrared lights battery wise it has a 3600 battery right over here and this will give us the option to use it for about 12 hours of video playback and if the screen goes down then we will have a few more hours i was thinking that last night it was disconnected like this and it had the sleep on 
and the battery did not go down. So I would imagine that you will have a few days, especially when we have the saving battery option, which will turn the screen on or off, depending if we have sounds or not. Inside the package, we will find all this right over here, the camera, the display, which is five inches LCD, two cables, USB type A to USB type C, and a user guide. The camera has two megapixels, a antenna for the video transmission and also antenna for temperature sensor, a reset button, USB type C for powering it up. Then it has the tripod mount at the bottom and we can also mount it on the wall if we want to. The display is an LCD display, not touch screen. We will use these buttons right over here to navigate, but the resolution is great. I imagine once again, it's 480 because I don't see anything on the specifications. But as you can see right over there, we can see really clear. It has this antenna that will help us to get more range. And we also have this stand, which will be able to put the monitor on the vertical. A turn on and off or sleep button and also the Vox detection button. On the side, we will have the menu button, multi-camera, because we can achieve four simultaneous cameras. And at the beginning, I was saying that this might be a digital monitor, but with four cameras, I do believe that it's a surveillance system. So we can have four, four cameras on the same room, or if you have four different kids on four different rooms, then you will have one of these on each room, and then you will cycle. The system is also smart enough to detect sound on this camera and open the screen automatically on that particular camera, which is really nice. Besides that, we also have right over here the directional button which will give us the option to move the camera around in a 360 angle volume up and down brightness up and down and the microphone activation so that i can talk to the camera in terms of the menu it's really complete but really simple for this kind of device now i was thinking that this is targeted at babies or small children but what about if we have someone uh, with a old age that has some issues or difficulties and the family member wants to pay attention and instead of waking up at the night and go there five or six times, have one of these monitors to be able to take a little bit better care of that person while having more comfort. So probably this is not only for kids and children, probably for older people as well. More importantly is that the screen quality is great and the image quality is great. And then it has these functions of alarms, waking up the screen when it hears the sound and so on and so forth. So I do believe that this works great for all the scenarios and has more options than necessary. But a great accessory if you have a kid or a baby or even a older person that you are taking care of.